For Wall Street Media, I'm Mike, I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. That's what we do, Jeremy. That's what we, what we do. We have uh, news from the Wachovia conference. Energy. Mm. Let me tell you something. This is what you should do. Pause us, because you don't want to miss us. Um, call <laughs> your broker and buy some oil, and then come back and buy, listen to us and buy some oil stocks. I bought one of these guys yesterday after I heard them on Tuesday, actually, uh, Targa Resources, right? Um, and they're already up. I already made a bunch of money on them, NGLS. Mm -hmm. You right? think oil will rebound? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, the Saudis are going to cut production, um, and it was at 40 or $43 a barrel, right? I think it's going to be back at 80 soon enough because mm -hmm. they'll cut production, and the traders will be jumping in. And a lot of these guys that are, you're talking, that we're going to talk about and that are in the energy area, pick the best ones out of these guys. That's why we do this, and you're going to make a lot of money. All right. Let's cut right to it. Uh, for anyone that's interested in following the full presentations, you can go to wsw.com slash webcast slash wa and the number 53 to listen to them yourself. But here are some excerpts. Um, Jim Cleary, president of El Paso pay, uh, Paid Pipeline Partners, ooh, the tongue twister, <laughs> ticker EPB, discussed the recent acquisition of an additional 30% interest in Colorado interstate gas. Um, and additional 15% of southern natural gas. It brings its ownership of EPB to 40% of CIG and 25% of SGN. James Dierloff, uh, chairman and CEO of Penn Virginia Resource Partners, ticker PVR, talks about the acquisition of the gas gathering and transportation assets of Lone Star Gathering um, in the Fort Worth Basin. Peter Evanson, uh, CEO of TK LNG Partners, have grown worldwide to strong oil platform areas like Brazil and the North Sea. The shuttle tanker industry will grow by 36% by 2015 due to better flexibility and lower cost for clients. John Onstorf, IR of Spectra Energy SE, discussed expansion plans for Florida and project in development including CAFX the Northern Bridge project, which will be completed in November 2009, in Time 2 project in Ohio and Pennsylvania, which will replace <coughs> 28 miles of existing 20-inch and 24-inch diameter pipeline with new 36-inch diameter pipeline, which add, construct, and operate 16,000 horsepower of compression and the existing Unitown, uh, Uniontown compressor station in Pennsylvania, and add, construct, and operate a new 16,000 horsepower compressor station in Heidelsburg, uh, Heidelsburg, Pennsylvania. This is expected to be completed in 2008, so fairly soon. It, wasn't it was <laughs> super glue you put on my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thomas Darden, CEO of Quicksilver Gas Services, KGS, announced that it has completed the purchase of the Lake Arlington Dry System, the midstream gathering and compression asset located in Tarrant County, Texas from Quicksilver Resources for $42 million. These guys are up 12% today. Get in now. <laughs> a lot of the energy stuff is going to go through the roof. Oil is going to double. Hmm. Navios, uh, that's a good tip. Navios Maritime Partners, ticker NMM, announced the closing of the purchase of Navios Aurora, uh, our Panamax vessel. Randy uh, Breitenbach, a CEO, Co-founder and co-CEO of Brightborn Energy Partners, ticker BBEP, focused on cost cutting, driving down capital costs and expenditures, and have gone from 99% oil to 60% natural gas usage. What's that, like four languages you know, right? Like English, German, French, and our uh, Wall Street media notes, <laughs> which are written in none of the above. <laughs> it's a mix of all, it seems like. It's amazing, man. <laughs> Scott Smith, CEO of Vanguard Natural Resources, ticker VNR, discussed, uh, discusses recent developments, including the Appalachian, Appalachian Basin, in which they have built horizontal wells that produce 100 MCF. What's MCF again? M. M million cubic feet? Yeah. Ah, so. Per day. The natural gas property, which was acquired in July 4. Wells were drilled this year, and two wells were deferred until 2009. Listen, note to us, okay? From now on, they've got to have completed the third grade before they write these. <laughs> <laughs> you have to read, okay? Okay. We lowered our standards a no little bit. No first graders right. for our notes right now. Okay. okay, the third grade. So if you're sending in resumes in the future, you must be at least eight years old to write these notes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all we have for now. Um, stock tweets, go to stock tweets, get great tips, doubles and triples all the time. 
Perfect. They can't be bothered with my 22% in two weeks. And if you're like me, you're not sure what M MCF stands for. I'm not sure if you have that's a, that's that on an Investopedia, that's an but <laughs> term. <laughs> in other investing terms, you can go to Investopedia and look those up. Ebedo, Which is very example. helpful when you're talking to these and you're listening to these guys. They're going to throw around a lot of financial terminology that they know and that everybody else knows, right? Mm -hmm. um, but that you might not know, and then you have no idea right. what the hell they're even talking about. Mm -hmm. go, go to Investopedia. Okay. Well, we're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at wsmco.com. Thanks.